Hey guys. So I thought I'd start a new vlog. It's the same day as my allergy test. Like it's the same day. Uh, if you haven't seen that vlog, please go and check it out because I don't want to repeat everything again. But I finally got my allergy test and my main problem is dust. And I have to admit, I was hoping when I was coming back home from my doctor's office today, I was like, you know, this is awesome. I'm going to start dusting today. And then I read all the information <laughs> and how much they really want you to actually dust. And even though, like, you're how, like, you know, intensely they want you to deep clean your room. <laughs> yeah, and even though I know that's not realistic and it won't happen that way, it is still overwhelming me. <laughs> so I was going to at least do a little bit of dusting, but I'm just like, nope. Nope, uh, but it is it is a lot because you know now how much it's affected you, and it's that's sometimes the issue with when you get allergy tests because then you start to recognize it more because you're like, oh, well, I know this now, so you look for it. <laughs> Anyways, I feel the way I always feel, but I know that the reason I feel that way now is dust, and so yeah, I'm overwhelmed by it, and hopefully I will get enough motivation to start it tomorrow. I'm trying to tell myself that I should just focus on the basic dusting. Do not go to all that extreme stuff yet. Just like the main surfaces around me, maybe wash my bedding, maybe try to figure out a, a effective way to kind of clean my stuffed animals. Um, maybe look for a specific, maybe they have like a small like vacuum for like dust surface like for dust I'm wondering if they'll have like a small dust vacuum that like can go on any surface like any shape um that would be interesting if I could find something like that because then it would help a lot with like stuffed animals and stuff um doesn't mean the problem with stuffed animals though is that they also have dust inside them I think because of yeah it's really it's hard and I can't just wash them all because not all of them can be in the washer without getting destroyed so yeah, <laughs> gonna have to figure that one out. It's gonna be real fun, but we're gonna figure out some way to do it because my stuffed animals are like my life. And I have a dream still to this day of having a room just full of all my stuffed animals from my life. It's like, <laughs> it probably won't ever happen, but if it did, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> just saying. Anyways, I'm gonna try to, I've been watching, uh, rewatching Dexter, um, which Mike and I watched a while ago because they had the new, the new show come out. The new series, Dexter's New, Dexter New Blood, which is pretty good so far. Um, and it made me want to rewatch Dexter. So I'm hoping that by watching an episode of Dexter before Mike and I make dinner, maybe it will help me, like, decompress and like calm down from the overwhelming amount of information that I received after reading all the stuff that I got. I'm happy that I did. It's just my brain has to process it now. And sometimes your brain needs a little break before it finishes processing things. Okay, well, as you can see, I have a dust mask on. I'm going to try to start the process of at least dusting the main areas out here. Uh, just to kind of start there, I almost consider double masking at this point because I'm afraid because I'm afraid that I'll start to feel sick. Like I'll get because sometimes I get like a cold after dusting and I have to work tomorrow and I just don't want to like have to deal with that. But hopefully I'll be fine when I'm wearing a mask. Um, I'm probably going to start out by focusing around my bed because I think that's the most important part. Um, might try to see if I could take the vacuum cleaner tube on, like, the little one that you disconnect and clean all my stuffed animals. Maybe that could help. I don't know. <laughs> it's all, you know, trial and error at this point. It's all things that I'm just gonna experiment with, I guess, and try to get the worst of the dust out. I have swiffer duster, I have my mask, I have that, I have paper towels, and I even have wipes over there, so... Let's hope something works out all right. <laughs> okay, I feel like I have barely made any progress. There's a mess on my bed here. Um, I try. I just spent so much time cleaning around that and slightly under the bed. It, the bed is no. I didn't even want to go under there, but I have to. I have stuff everywhere out here because I'm trying to clean all the crevices before I put things back in. <laughs> oh. 
Oh God. But yeah, I was starting to feel my normal postnatal drip problems, phlegminess. My nose keeps itching, it's so annoying. But uh, I'm gonna try to take a break and eat some food and maybe that will help me recenter myself. We'll find out. This is really hard to do. Like, I just had like a serious breakdown about it and I like had to like contain myself beforehand, but it's like so hard. Like I have, like I know, this is gonna sound so petty, but like I have so much shit. I have so much stuff everywhere that is just covered in dust and it's just overwhelming me. And then after all my hard work, all I see is just dust floating in the air anyway. So I'm like, am I making it worse by making it all exposed in the air? And like, I'm already, already had a, this blew my nose for a few minutes and it's like really bad. It's even like bloody for whatever reason. I mean, I've been dealing with that lately where like blowing my nose, it's like has a little bit of blood content in it. But like, it was really, really bad. And like... Does can allergy make you bleed? <sighs> or is it my, it might be my, my cells, you know, the whole thing about an allergy is that it, like, it, what, your body cells that's supposed to fight off infection or whatever. Don't quote me on this, and I'm really tired right now, but, like, I swear it was something along the lines, like, the cells that fight off stuff mistaken certain things for something that's not actually dangerous, um, <laughs> excuse me, I will be doing that so I don't have to deal with it. Um, like, they're, the cells are fighting off what they think is dangerous to your body, like a foreign, um, like, thing that is dangerous for, that they think is dangerous for your body when it's not dangerous for your body, like dust or certain foods. And so maybe that's it. My, my blood cells are like, or if my cells are just like acting up or whatever and trying to like fight off the mistaken infection. Like it's kind of weird how to, I don't even know how to explain it. It's so much. I, don't, I haven't even, I feel like I haven't even gotten to like the worst. Okay, I got into part of the worst of it, which is under my bed. Which of course affects me when I'm sleeping on my bed. So... I just, it is stressing me out because I just see the dust particles everywhere and I'm using things like the Swiffer that's supposed to actually capture the dust. I also have wipes to wipe some surfaces so it sticks to the wipe instead of just dust, get all dusty. And I wanted to get like a, I wish I could get like an air purifier or something, but the thing is, they're expensive. I have no money, so that probably won't happen much as I wish I could just get an air purifier or something. But anyways, I'm like feeling so done right now and I have to put, like I haven't even finished under my bed and I have to put everything back and it's like, I don't want to do it. Oh my God, I don't want to do it. I have to shower tonight too, which I was going to do anyways, obviously, but like I'm work tomorrow, so I need to make sure I take a good shower today. Anyways, wish me luck. I hate this. I, I want to feel better. <laughs> I'm trying. Mike has come to my rescue and he's already come up with ideas that I couldn't think of. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much. Hi, honey. Hello. Thank you so much for all your help today. Mm -hmm. We ended up getting Jack in the box. Mm -hmm. the, I think it was earned. <laughs> when I was done, I was tired and starving and I had to take a shower. So we just ordered food. So yay. Yeah. So this is now happening. With, got some ginger tea and clover honey. This is the best honey ever. It's so good for your like throat. It's so nice. I like these tea bags because they come with little little things. It says the creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Anyway, since I had to dust my room and I do feel kind of like a little stuffy, my throat's a little scratchy and my head's kind of so like achy. So I was like, maybe, maybe if I just have some tea, it can help a little bit with that. So I don't feel icky tomorrow when I have work. So I'm hoping for the best. So I'm assuming that this video is pretty long. <laughs> So I think I'm going to end it here, but I just kind of wanted to wrap up kind of um, today. As you saw, like Mike and I got Jack in the Box and we've been watching Full House. So after I was able to shower and eat, I feel so much better. Like I was like, I was got a little overwhelmed, but all was good. Bless Mike's heart. He really helped me like get this side of the bed underneath. And, and I decided to get rid of the stereo that I had there for years because, well... I don't use it and it's still in pretty good condition so someone else especially someone who likes tech stuff might really enjoy it so i thought i would you know give it away um so we got all that stuff taken care of um i guess i'll let you guys know in a future vlog if i'm starting to already feel better or not though i kind of doubt it because i feel like the dust kind of just got stirred up a little bit but Hopefully we'll get to a point where he'll be okay again. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!